We are in Calistoga during Northern California's crazy storm this New Year's Eve. I broke it. I don't know what I was thinking. We are headed out to Calistoga for New Year's. We're headed to Indian Springs. I stayed there a few months ago. Absolutely loved it. I think it's the best deal and I'm excited to share it with you guys again and with Jason because he's never been before. Let's do a quick geography lesson so you understand where Calistoga is, how it relates to Napa Valley and to the rest of California, and then you'll understand more about Indian Springs and why it's so special. So Napa Valley is 50 miles northeast of San Francisco. Calistoga is at the northernmost end of the valley. So you drive the whole valley when you go to Calistoga. This drive can be slow at times, but the scenery is gorgeous year round. Seriously, the summer, the winter is just beautiful. Indian Springs Calistoga has four thermal geysers on their property, and that supplies the heated mineral water to the pools in the spa. California, as many of you know, has tremendous tectonic plate movement, and Calistoga sits on a fractured plate. This causes magma to superheat deep groundwater, and this encounter creates hot water and drives it up as a geyser. This water is supercharged with minerals as it's pushed 4,000 feet to the surface. It's then captured into cooling pools at Indian Springs before it is deposited into the large swimming pools and into the mud baths at the spa. This is super unique. It might be the last place in California still allowed to utilize the geyser and mineral water for therapies in this way. Honestly, I think Indian Springs Calistoga is truly special. It's like stepping back in time. The Olympic sized pool filled fully with hot mineral water from the geyser was built in 1913. There is an adult only pool as well. But I love how family friendly this spa is. It's great for couples and retreats, great for girls trips, but it's also great for a family holiday. There were so many kids filming in the huge pool with their parents, it was wonderful. Indian Springs Calistoga is in the center of Calistoga, located on Lincoln Avenue, and right around the corner you will find Salage and the new Four Seasons Resort in Napa Valley. Having these other properties close by is such a treat because it's easy to go to dinner or try out their spa for the day without paying the higher nightly rate. I find Indian Springs Calistoga to be a great deal at half the price of the other two while maintaining its incredible turn of the century charm, which really transports you. Being transported is what I'm searching for as I share about spas around the world. So let's jump in and be taken away by the mineral hot springs of Indian Springs Calistoga. This is what the check-in reception area at Indian Springs looks like. We ran straight to the spa because we had a couple's massage starting. Jason and I are about to start a couple's massage here in the room getting ready. They're bringing him over right now, I think. So how was it? Mine was so good. Like, definitely this redeemed Indian Springs um, massage for me because back in September when I was here, I did not enjoy it. This was incredible. I need to find out what his name is because I would drive back and forth for it. So after our service, we have a massage that's about in about 30 minutes. So we're going to come over to the Buddha Pond and wait till our next service. And so there's this little like covered area that you walk through. I might be going crazy. I don't know what to do. My heart is screaming for you, babe. During the New Year's weekend in 2022, there was a huge Northern California storm, so it was freezing. And the only thing that was great was the hot pools outside, but we definitely were not lounging by the Buddha Pond, which is why it's so great that I had captured footage of it to share with you of when I was there in September, so you can see this whole side of the spa. Afraid you're glowing in the dark. Okay, it's massage time, and this is what a basic massage room looks like and then that door goes out to the Buddha Pond. You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark. I feel it in my heart. You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark. Yeah, you're glowing in the dark. Okay, so we have room 308 this time. So I'm gonna show you around because this setup is different than the one that I had when I came with Melissa because we had two queens, so this is a king. You come in, you have the closet with a mirror, and you have your robes, umbrellas, flashlights, iron, 
You come in here, you have a sitting area. They give you these water bottles that you can fill up around the property. So there's like water fill places. And then it's pretty standard king size bed. There is a fireplace that I just turned on. An area to plug in and work. I really like the vintage touches. Like I think it's super cute. These chairs, these were in my other room too. And then we do have reading lights. So you can direct that. TV and I believe the fridge is in there. So you do have a fridge. And does it come? Nope, just some butter. And then coffee maker, coffee supplies, safe, ice bucket. Moving into the bathroom, it is single sink, toilet, window out to the pond area, and then a full shower, pretty tile. Okay, let's go outside and see what's going on. I think we have a special kind of balcony out here. Oh no, this is gonna be like those doors I couldn't open in Costa Rica. So, challenged by doors. Okay. So this is the cute little balcony back here. You can't see it because it's nighttime, but there's a pond and a walk down here, and these buildings just kind of face into it. There's this hill here, and then beyond it is the geyser spot. You can kind of maybe make out some steam coming up from there. I can't stop time for you. Now I'm ready. We are going to Sam Social Club, which is the restaurant here. Okay, wait a second. I have to check my phone. I got it. I have to check the key card. Wait, do you have your lanyard? I've got it right here. All right, because I'm not going to wear a lanyard. What? So. Go oh, down should the... we bring the umbrellas? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Open it. What did you just say to me? Does that mean if you only want one umbrella, I need to share with you? We snuggle on the walk back. Hmm. This is my umbrella. <laughs> I'm like Mary Poppins for Halloween. Oh, really? Is that going to fit even? Why do we spend money on like... Tripods when I can just like build it? I know. I can just build the tripod. Loving me was all you tried when you were around. I've been told too many times now. Is it possible to get a side of the chocolate sauce? Just a little more chocolate on it? That'd be great. No, this is so good. Okay, last time I was here, I had these candy cane churros. I kept saying candy cane, but I meant candy cap. So these candy cap mushrooms actually go locally in the Bay Area, and they are a very fragrant and sweet mushroom. When dried, they are used to help give fragrance and sweetness to different baked goods, cookies, desserts. I don't know. It's amazing. That's so good. Reason enough to come down here. How was dinner tonight? It was delicious. I felt really full and nauseous, so. <laughs> you could just say, it was good. It was good. I want to throw it. Oh my gosh. What? Nothing. What are we doing now? Just putting my base away. In the closet. Oh. I am headed to my next spa experience. I'm getting a facial. Do you know which one you booked? No. I'm sure whatever it is, I'm going to love. It's a nice way to wake up. Remember Jason, we walked down this path last night to go to Sam, and then this path will connect us back over to like the spa area. My spa experience today is at the same time as yoga, so we're not able to go to the yoga class. My fun lanyard, it's like I'm at camp, I'm at spa camp and my lanyard key works everything.
Jason booked me a 50 minute radiant hydrofacial. It started at 9 a.m. So I was like the first one in the spa and it was really, really lovely and quiet and really tranquil, especially with the rain. She started by cleansing my face. She steamed it. We did a mask and then she started with the hydrofacial, which pushes in hydration, but then also helps suck out impurities. And then at the end, usually your hydrofacialist will show you what they sucked out. After my facial, I'm headed over to the pool area. They have amazing food and they have this area that's covered with a fireplace going. So hopefully they're open. I mean, it's like 11 a.m. So I'm sure it's good. And then also the pools here are heated with that Calistoga geyser. So the water is over 90 degrees. So even in this misty rain, it's still gonna feel lovely. I discovered that the pool area does not start serving like coffee and drinks until 11 and they don't serve food until noon. So Jason and I decided to head over to Sam's. And being the weirdo that I am, I got a chicken Caesar salad for breakfast because I do like savory things in the morning. And we had a little bit of a brunch, but we're gonna take back some pizzas to the room because they don't have room service here. But Sam's is amazing and you can get anything to like be packed up and go. I would say this is the biggest drawback at this property for me. I love room service. I love being able to call up a number and have things delivered, especially in a rainstorm. It would have been so lovely to be able to call Sam's or call a concierge desk and get the food delivered to us rather than us having to walk through the property because the property is extensive. You should know though that they do have beach cruisers all over the property for you. It's just because it was raining, we weren't able to use the beach cruisers. But back in September when I was there with Melissa, we did use the beach cruisers and I loved it. I did want to go to the pool, but it's a little cold. And even though the main pool is 100 degrees, I think we'll go back to the room for a little bit and then try it in a bit. Okay, so we've just been relaxing in the room, and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about these churros, the Candy Cat Mushroom. Here I go again raving about these churros. Yes, I love them. You will love them. And they are on the breakfast and the dessert menu at Sam's Social Club. Don't judge me. I ordered them three times. The other thing that I wanted to point out is the room setups. Last time I came, I was on a lower floor and basically you have like a patio outside of your room, but it's not like covered or anything. This time I thought it might be the king rooms. The upper floor king rooms are set up like this where you have this like interior area. So it's like covered inside. I believe it's the two end upstairs king rooms. <laughs> Now we came back to the pool, so we're gonna take a dip in and Jason's looking at the menu because they have this great menu here by the pool too. Jason, give me another piece of that brownie. We have met before. Hey, we're gonna go into the pool. It's like a hundred degrees. I think it's gonna feel good though. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is like the biggest hot spa ever. I'm so happy right now. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking for some reason it wasn't going to be this hot. 100 degrees feels amazing. It's the same as always, waiting at the airport. With your cold and gloves, same time every winter, smiling like you knew me and now all my emotions are searching for you in okay, so this pipe out there is the pipe for the geyser coming up and it gets into that pool below it and then it gets brought up into these pools and it's like a cooling area before it gets sent into the pool which would be down there i don't know what it is but i find this to be extremely charming and vintagey and kind of just like a step back in time, like step back a hundred years. I just, I just love it. On our second night, we head 18 miles south to Mustard's Grill. This is an iconic Napa Valley establishment. Mustard's Grill was opened by Cindy Paulson in 1983. Cindy is a pioneer in the development of the wine country cuisine, and her pork chop is one of the most famous items on her menu. So of course I got it. Alright, 
This is the pork chop. It looks delicious. And Jason got the halibut because I also wanted to try this one. And then ladies, this is the bathroom here. So they have two gender neutral bathrooms. Yep, just a single bathroom and toilet. Ooh, yours looks really good. Yum. I got the apple tart. That was so good and I'm so full and there's nothing like coming on a trip like this to uh, promote the carnivore diet for me in the new year, that's for sure. It's like I want to commit to a solid week. I know I'm like a walk in space, no matter how you talk with me. And this water has so many different minerals in it. It's just so good for your skin. Oh, amazing. Best bath in the world. All right, we are done with our nighttime spa time. And uh, we're heading back to the room. I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling. We are headed to yoga this rainy Saturday morning and the last day of 2022. We called ahead to reserve two yoga positions in this class. I'm not sure if that's necessary, but it's not a huge room. And by the time everybody came, it was filled. And I think people came that they weren't anticipating because when I arrived in the room, it was already set up like this, but then they put out more mats for more people. So I don't know if it really matters to make an appointment for it, but it's a good idea. We just finished yoga and now we're heading over to Sam's Social Club for some breakfast. They have this super yummy banana bread. I didn't get it yesterday because I was so like smitten with those churros, but today we're getting the banana bread. Okay, the banana bread came and it has this crispy sugar topping to it. And then they serve it with this mascarpone spread. It's just, it's heavenly and then the crunch from that sugar on the edge it's probably hands down the best banana bread ever breakfast just arrived what did you get i got eggs benedict with potatoes and a side of bacon and i got the chia pudding okay i also tried the potatoes and i need the side of bacon okay i've got all my food packaged up and we're ready to go back to the room are you ready we just got back to the room and Jason set my bag of food down and he said, here's your mountain bag of food. I don't know if I'm supposed to take offense to that. Yes, I have some food. Yes, it might look like a mountain, but it's going to be delicious. And I think there was judgment. There's two pizza boxes here. That's not my pizza. I didn't order it. It's your pizza. But after a little bit of resting in the room, we are walking back to the pool area to get into the 100 degree water, fill the minerals and just relax on this New Year's Eve. The yummy little cafe area next to the pool. This place makes really good food. This summer I had this amazing lobster roll here and an heirloom tomato salad, so delicious. So this is how pool food should be done. <laughs> this is amazing pool food. This lobster sandwich is delicious. So yummy. The shop even put crunchy chips in it. Heaven. So I'm excited to see what's on their lunch menu today. This is the Buddha bowl. It's like sashimi with wontons. There's like a total bohemian vibe here and I love it. Done to get used to it. Think I'll survive. I met you in the summer. When you left it was cold. Said we loved one another. Ready to go get our mud bath? Almost. 
Have they won yet? I don't even know what's going on. All right, it is time for our mud bath. So this is one of the things that makes Indian Springs in Calistoga so unique is their thermal mud bath. It comes straight from their geyser, the hot water that's heating in with the ash of the volcanic material that they source here on property. And that makes this mud bath. But we have different health regulations and things like that over the years. Things like this have gone away or are not, no longer allowed to be built. So they're actually grandfathered in. And this is like such a unique thing to do. So highly recommend. I did it prior. And I'm super excited that Jason and I are both gonna get to do this. Men and women are separated, so we're gonna do it at the same time, but not actually in the same vicinity. There you are. Where have you been? You're so excited. Let's go. Okay, let's see what they have for us today. I haven't even shopped in here very much. I need to mm -hmm. shop and experience. You get us checked in as I shop. Ooh, what are these? Mm. Yum. And I'm changed into my robe for my mud bath treatment. And so, actually I wasn't able to lock my locker, but that was probably my own personal issue. As you can imagine, filming in a spa where people are naked is frowned upon. And it's the biggest challenge I encounter when trying to make these spa inside videos for you guys and give you insight into what you get in the experience because obviously most spas don't want me filming inside. The Indian spa mud bath begins when you're brought inside this really cool vintage mud bath house. You can see that the concrete vaults are filled with an ash mud and this is heated with the hot geyser water. You drop your robe and get completely naked. Instead of getting deep into the mud, you actually lay on top of the mud and then your assistant packs the mud on top of you. It's warm and soothing and I absolutely love it, but it might not be everyone's thing. It wasn't Jason's thing. He didn't really like it. He felt kind of like suffocated and hot and he actually got out before his time had fully elapsed. After about 15 minutes, your assistant returns to you in the mud bath area and starts pulling the mud off of your body. Then you walk over to these showers that are nearby and you just start rinsing as much of the mud off of your body as you can. Then you are taken to these super cute vintage clay foot tubs. It's already filled with the hot geyser mineral water. Your assistant brings you cold cucumber water and a nail pick. So as you soak, you can clean the mud from beneath your nails. So you get into the mineral spa after your mud bath and rinsing off and you get into this spa to soak in the minerals of Indian Spring and they give you some water to cool off but they also give you a little pick to clean out your fingernails. After your soak, you enter a radiant sauna for about 15 minutes. Okay, so it's mud bath, rinse off, then a soak in the clawfoot tubs at the like totally turn of the century in all the mineral water. Then you get up, you put your arms up, she wraps you in your towel, which I thought was so cute. And then we come into this sauna. You can so see it. warm. It's so toasty in here. Last year, you are taken to a cooling room. It reminds me a little bit of a nap room. And you spend 15 minutes in this space cooling off in a thin linen blanket. Cucumbers and a cold towel are applied to your eyes and your head. After this, you are escorted back to the locker room. I love this treatment so much and wish that it wasn't two hours away, but actually two hours isn't that bad. And I should probably drive once a month out for it. Maybe if I did that, they'd let me film the full thing. Okay, we are headed over. It's really around the corner from Indian Springs to the Four Seasons. It was built, would you say that it opened during COVID? Before that. Before that, it's but not long it's ago. relatively new. So anyways, right around the corner, across from Swage, there's Four Seasons. So we're going there for dinner. Tonight is New Year's Eve. I have high hopes for this restaurant. Well, will be the judge if it's a really good chef, I am willing to turn over all ordering to him. And I think that is what it is like tonight, right? Isn't it like a... A fixed um, menu? I don't remember. Maybe. I think it's some kind of tasting, which I'm super excited about. And it's beautiful. I love it. Hopefully the menu when it comes will be delicious too. Did you like it? I think it looks delicious. It had a lot of words in it that I did not know. This is Japanese bread, and then these are two different butters that will be delicious, I'm sure. Okay, this is the sun choke soup, and they just poured it on top of these things that are underneath it. It looks really good. 
What do you think? Oh, it's so good. Soaking it up with your Japanese bread. Oh yeah. This soup is so good. Just exited Tres Oro. Coming outside looking for the restroom. They say that I should see it. Which it looks like this could be it. Ooh. Lovely. Perfect. Well, we'll go in here since we are not handicapped. Okay. All right, let's go back and join in. This looks beautiful. Look at how dainty it is. Like a little clementine flower on top of what is it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember what it is. Beef that's dry more than a couple of months. In this case, 100 days. Oh, wow. really yeah. removes a lot of the moisture, condenses the flavors, and tenderizes the meat. And this is for flannery beef. As well. yeah. And then the last treat is a yummy chocolate, dark chocolate salted, I don't know, some kind of flower petal to take home. Yum. It is New Year's and we actually came around the corner from Indian Springs to another place called Solage, which we plan on coming back to and doing a deep dive here. We built the pools here. Oh, oh yeah, they look nice. We'll definitely want to come stay here. And the first way we're going to figure it out is having breakfast here. We're so dysfunctional, but still inseparable. Yeah, we just never get it right. beautiful New Year's morning and I am headed back into the pool area to get another warm dip in these amazing mineral waters. First time this trip actually I've been able to get a chair up here. We always end up being inside by the fire. Probably warmer anyways, but today it's sunny, beautiful. Take my robes off, go sit in the heat. Jason, are you getting this party started without me? It's nice out here. Enjoying it? Warm. I'm coming, I'm coming for the heat. There's so many sketchy transitions here because it's grandfathered in, but like things like this, like, this is just not, normal like you would never see things like this anymore done in public pool situations at least not here in the state of california oh, oh so nice yeah they have this great chicken coop that we should build mm -hmm. i want you to see it okay. i'm gonna love it i'm gonna make it exactly the way i want you to mm -hmm. doesn't that excite you mm -hmm. <laughs> i just have so many ideas for you to create so that is Indian Springs in there, but this is also Indian Springs. So this is all of their property. And out here is my understanding is where they dig up the dirt and the minerals that are found naturally here. And that's what they're sifting. They're sifting the like volcanic ash 
and that's what's going into your mud bath. So they do it all here on property and they sell the volcanic ash too. I've actually bought some. I've been afraid of what to do with it in my own bathtub. And then over here is a little artist guy who makes things from uh, pieces that are found on property. So I thought we'd go check it out. had a great time we are packed up and heading out i'm going to stop by the art studio on our way out and buy some of those geometric um crystal pipe things i like them so that guy sells them i'm gonna go grab some and then head on home back to the boys and see what happened at home while we were gone it's my lips but do you feel the way enjoying it so far really good the yeah. trips are amazing and this salsa you can see it's like homemade that's supposed to be for both of us this is so good so good it looks good right then that they do make it homemade that's also mm. the beans are so good okay I'm going to be very happy here. Very happy. Ooh, yeah.